Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to do a little bit of review on text features. And so I'm just going to talk about four different ones today, and then you're going to do a little bit of practice with those. If you look on the screen in front of you, you will notice that I have two different types of text features. The first one is a heading. A heading is a few words that tell what a paragraph, section, or chapter will be about. So, and usually it's in a bold type print, so it kind of stands out a little bit more. So if you look at the example in the book that they are showing you, they're pointing to the heading, which is called drag lines. And this paragraph is going to be about the drag lines that spiders use when they are making webs. So that gives us an idea of what the whole paragraph will be about just by those few words. That's called a heading. To the right, you will notice the other thing that we're going to talk about is called a caption. Captions are words below, beside, or on the picture telling you about the picture. So we still have the example of the book. We still see the heading drag lines. We see the paragraph about drag lines. But then where the picture is of the spider, we also have a caption, and that caption tells us something about the spider. It says a spider hanging from a drag line. So it just tells you more about the picture. That's called a caption. Next, we're gonna talk about labels and photographs. A label, labels are words or phrases that describe certain parts of a picture. So if you notice in the book on um, this example, they're talking about honeybees and hives and that they're located in trees and they're often connected to branches. So they are using labels to point out some specific things that they want you to notice. So the word branch is there and then it has an arrow pointing to the branch. So it's labeling where the branch is. And then there's an arrow pointing to the hive and it has the word hive. Again, it's just labeling certain parts of a picture so they stand out more and you understand them. The last one that we're going to talk about today is a photograph. A photograph is a picture that adds information or helps explain the text. So um, again, it's still the example of the honeybee, but they added a photograph um, that shows what a real hive might look like. And, you know, I always enjoy being able to read in a book and then see some pictures of examples. I just think it helps you understand it better. So today you're gonna to do a little bit of practice with each one of those things. You are going to label the parts of the car. It says labels are words or phrases that help you understand the picture. Use the words to label the picture below. And so you will simply click on the, picture, on the box and then drag it over and label antenna. And you'll do that for each one. Then you're going to go to the next one and you're going to create a caption. It says write a caption for each of the following pictures. Remember, a caption is just something about what's happening in the story. So you're again, you're going to double click in the box and then you'll be able to backspace and you will type a caption for this, maybe um, saying something about a frog. sitting on a lily pad, right? And you're gonna do that for each one of the captions. And then the last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna work on headings. Remember, headings are just a couple words that tell what a paragraph is about. So the Statue of Liberty is on Liberty Island in the New York Harbor. It is 151 feet tall. It was given to the United States by France in 1884. The statue is a woman in a long robe. She is holding a torch and is a symbol of freedom. So we need to think of a heading. Remember a heading kind of describes what the whole paragraph is about. So if I was gonna make a heading for this, I think I would just simply call it Statue of Liberty, right? Because that's what the whole paragraph's about. So you're gonna do the same thing for the other two.